Yo guys, Grand here. Thanks for tuning by. I'm not really too used to doing all these little commentaries, but I'm just gonna do a rubble commentary because I just kind of feel like it's necessary to know kind of what my mindset style is and the decision making process that I undergo when I do broadcast this. And there is a little bit of background noise. Uh, there'll be like kind of me shooting or maybe a little bit of M Tash in the background. While I was just watching that, but just uh, make sure to leave a sub, maybe leave a like. And if you enjoyed, definitely, definitely do both those things. Anyway, let's jump right into this. No one success belongs to you All right, alone. so I'm right at the beginning here, and I see there's one guy, so I just kind of primary him down and just down him. So I have the reload perk, feeding frenzy on my clever dragon, and the bounce out because outside is more suited towards my playstyle as a marksman. So outside is like more long ranges and stuff. This, I see this guy spawn here and I just I just go ahead and just primary challenge and he's not going to do anything because I saw him right off the bat. I go inside to see anyone and there is one guy. So here's one thing I also do too is that I do the pre-aim as well with, with Clever Dragon and your sniper. You're going to want to do that. Um, I try to stick this guy but unfortunately I didn't. So I try to do the primary game. I know that he's getting an engagement now since he's shooting someone. So here's an opportunity to strike. I go ahead and pursue that and down the target and move. And when I move over here, obviously I see that there's a target on my radar and start blasting him. Half health, perfect. And I know there might be one guy at top, but he's not there. So I just go ahead and I keep roaming outside and I keep checking around to see if there's anyone. And I see that there's no one. So. I hear, hear there's gunfights in here looking for someone and I get a target. Now there's a guy rushing me right here and this is the part where I kind of get sandwiched in. So I have him at half health, I glide in, I want to melee him but then I got, I got killed but I also didn't look at the side of the corner. So that's one of the mistakes that I made right there. Um, moving forward, um, obviously that's the same guy that tried to kill me last time, I just got him down. Yet again, I'm staying outside but... The most important part too about Rumble 2 is uh, having the supercharge, especially if it's a multi-kill one. So supers are really gonna give you, they're gonna give you like a shit ton of, of points on the score. And it's and Rumble is this, uh, a point score system. So obviously I didn't use it there. I'm still in primary fights. And I know I can win the primary fights because I know I have high cal rounds. I got feeding frenzy. See this guy coming around the corner. I definitely don't know he doesn't have a super because the. No one's scoreboard is up to 700, and I just go ahead and go on the inside because I know I can go on the offensive and use hammers. Um, I want to be prevent being sniped here, so I obviously chuck a hammer right there. And I see there's one guy down here, but I didn't get him in time. Um, I go ahead and go some primary fights. This is a mistake here too. Um, I did try to use my snipe there, but unfortunately I didn't get a chance to. I had no opportunity. Um, I did pull it out, but I didn't really do anything with it. I tried to hit him, but I didn't hit him. And that was a good way to do the end cooch method, but I've got a chance. So I'm flying in, I'm about to pounce on this guy and down him real easy. And this is really ninja here. Um, so that nade toss was, I, I said in my mind that I was like, okay, I know there's a target there, I'm airborne, and I gotta do something about that. So I go ahead and do it. This guy across the map, I don't have any primary ammo, I go for the snipe. I kite around this guy because I know he has last word in his pocket, so I just wait for a good engagement. I back away and keep distance. He's still shooting at me, but I'm still trying to find him. And I see he's coming up. I'm still checking my radar and I'm looking for him. And I choke a few snipes right here, unfortunately, because I'm just trying to ace his face. But then I eventually get him after four shots, which was really terrible. So I go for this green because... Uh, the more green you pick up in the match, the less shotgun ammo people have. So that's always one good thing to do. Um, I see there's a gunfight over here, which means most times someone's weak. And I was right, because that guy was weak. Um, gliding towards the stairs, this guy. I try to melee, but he blink strikes, so I can't really fight over that. And so I know I have a lot of momentum at this point. So all I need to do is probably get like about one more kill, and I can get a super and probably win the match. I see that guy slammed, and most times whenever I see a slam pop up, I'll always throw a sticky nade, but in this case I had distance, so I was going to snipe, and so I want to pick up a different angle, I know no one's outside, and now I have hammer, so it's an opportunity to strike. So I go ahead and gun this guy down, I almost lose engagement, and um, I'm going to just go ahead and probably go on the inside here and go on the offensive with my hammer, because I know that I have the upper hand and score, I'm bleeding, and I know I can probably win this, so... This is the point where I'm just going to find the last target, I'm going to find a target, and then I'm going to go ahead and hammer. 
So as soon as I find my target, I'm going to just go ahead and hammer here and just get one. I see there's one around the corner, so I glide in and grab that one. I go outside to see if there's any more targets I can get. And I go in diagonally because I know there might be one spawning. And I get one, and then boom, bada, bing, we win. So... A lot of things that I also did too was that I like pre-aimed around the corner and I made sure that I was in a one-on-one -on -one engagement most times because it's so important that you do that before you go ahead and get yourself um, involved and get into a gunfight because if you got someone behind you, you have two options. You're going to either try to run, well for me I got a Titan skate out, or you can just simply, um, you can either try to get out of the situation or you can try to punch a hole. Now punching a hole is an effective method. I kind of like doing it more than often. Now punching a hole means you either kill someone and trade with them or you kill them and you run because most times if you're getting a one-on-one -on -one engagement you need to get the fuck out of there. It's just, it's that simple. There's no, there, there, there's no rhyme or reason to it. You just, you gotta run. Like, you gotta go once, once you start to down someone. Anyway. Alright, so I did Alright, so I did like about two rounds here, and I'm facing the exact same guy again. Um, enemy Playo or something like that, physical. Um, this match was pretty darn close. I thought he was going to win, but then I got some momentum, and you'll see. So, right there, as you saw, like I did just do the sticky nade, and then I go ahead and primary. The reason why I chose the sticky nade there is because there was no way I was going to plant my feet on the ground and start primary. I wasn't prepared. And I go ahead and outgun the same guy again, but I threw a sticky nade earlier. Oh yeah, and the other guy I killed, just like, fucked him up with some clever dragon. Uh, this guy is hopping on top here, I just go ahead and back away. And then this is an example of punching a hole. Like, um, the problem here was that like I wasn't set up, I never pre-aimed properly. And then two kind of pinched on me, and I chose him, then besides the other guy. And that was my decision, that was a mistake, but it's no big deal. So I just got to keep going. I know I have lead, but the problem I see here is that there's no one engaging the middle area, and I want them to engage, but it's, I'm having trouble. So I go ahead and try to gun this guy down, but he takes the kill because he was starting on it, got the wombo. I go back in the middle simply thinking that there'd be someone challenging from either side, and I check this side and the next. Oh, and I don't check the other side, but I go back into middle, and... I'm kind of looking to see if there's this guy here, and he gets a body hit on me. And it's never smart if you get hit by a sniper to re-engage. And if you have the opportunity to turn the corner and get in cover, that's good too. And as you saw there, um, that was a big pinch. So there was a guy that was behind me and a guy in front of me. I don't know, the guy was in front of me? I knew there was a guy behind me, that's why I fleed. And you know, that's kind of smart to do, but at the same time, yet again, I'm, ma I'm making the same mistake here. And you're going to be seeing this over and over in this round because I want people to come to here but I can't get them however this guy's gonna approach and I'm pre-aiming already so I know for sure that I'm already gonna have this engagement in the bag I see that this guy I'm trying to pre-aim and I lose the engagement I should have slid out around the corner instead because he knew I was exactly gonna be there and if I slide out then I have a chance to kinda get a little bit of momentum we'll have shots and he can't exactly land all headshots but I can so that's the same guy again, I just outgun him because he's out distance. I snipe over in this angle, thinking that there's someone over there, and there is, but they're not approaching, and that's kind of my style too, is to try to bait in someone, or just try to hard scope and wait for them to come. And I just go ahead and go in, and yet again, I'm pre-aiming, like I'm ready for this guy to come out. I'm ready for this guy, I'm committing, and he comes out, and I just outgun him right there. It's simple, simple, simple. I think there's a guy across the map, a snipe, and then there's this guy, and then yet again, I do the sticky nade. Um, I use the sticky nade just in some tight spots and situations so I can try to down a target. Yet again, this was an engagement that I did do good in. I like, saw him shooting at me, had the first shot, he threw the skippies, I tried to run, and I kind of got cock blocked with Garrison, but that's okay. I still made an effort to run. This guy almost dies. I really cheesed about this kill. Unfortunately, I don't get him, which really sucks. And the guy, yet again, phase of kills me because he has momentum, he's on top, he's in the middle, he's trying to control that area. This is the prime area where you do want to control as well. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to get some shots off, I don't kill him. I see there's a skip, he's following me, so there's nothing I can really do about it. And I just flee from him because I know I can't win. See there's a tether there, I go ahead and go around the other side. Now I'm safe, and I'm going to just go ahead and hammer it because I need some score on the board. That guy was with the Nova Bomb me, thank god I got the hammer off in time. 
Sometimes you can do that if they're weak. Um, sometimes you actually can kill them at full health, which is really awesome. I see there's this guy in the air. I missed my hammer. Get a kill still. But I could have gotten about, like, possibly one more kill there. But I just I messed up my first hammer. Not a big deal. I still have score on the scoreboard. But yet again, the Faisal guy is not far behind me. He downs me really quickly. He got the skippies off. Then he got some nades. Um... That's one thing too as a hunter is that if they throw skippies and if they get primary shots they'll kill you. Um, right there, I hop on top, he's already pre-aimed. I try to snipe and I don't get anything out of it which is terrible. And as soon as that happens, I'm no, I'm dead. You see there's a guy like I try to run into and there's this guy on the side. I pull up my snipe, get a quick kill, check my radar, there's a guy behind me, I'm skating away. And then I see that there's two guys here so I go ahead and push this one, get a health nade get back because I need to pre-aim and ready for this guy almost killed him but I didn't get quite kill him I know there's a guy around the side here so I pre-aim and wait for him to come around the corner but unfortunately he doesn't and now it's heavy time so I can't commit to that guy all the time because I gotta go for heavy ammo and heavy ammo is really important so I try to engage this guy and I'm waiting for my sticky grenade but I was like fuck it and just go but he had them he had a better advantage because he was on ground. And this is the part where I just kind of fucked his day over, unfortunately. So I just kind of waited for him to come around the corner here, but he doesn't end up coming around the corner, so I have to make a decision. And here's Fazo, and he has rockets already, so he throws one. I threw a sticky nade and garrison the other way. As a garrison, too, it's also important to change your movement up, and that's exactly what I did. And that's the same guy who killed me earlier who picked up the heavy, and he tried to gun me down, but I gunned him down instead. But I was lucky I didn't necessarily pre-aim. I just went right into it, and then I just I gang-banged him super easy. It wasn't strafing necessarily super good. Um, so I know I've I've lost the lead at this point, and I know I need points on the score. I need points on the scoreboard, and I'm really close to super. So I go ahead and just get out of the middle, and I gotta try to get some engagements. I'm confident to kill this guy, and then I turn around and go for a sticky nade kill and try to garrison, but yet again, his shots are really good. His shots are really fucking good, but the trade was important there because, yet again, I was punching a hole. There was a guy behind me, even though I didn't know, but I kind of punched a hole there, and I turned around and I threw the sticky grenade knowing that I could trade. But that was, yet again, that comes with practice. You can't expect to do that right away. Um, I'm getting engagement with this guy, and I can't really gun him down, so I just go ahead and go for the hammer. And then I see that he's going to challenge this, so I'm like, yay, nothing Arclades can do, right? So, um, I know at this point that I still have lots of super energy, so I got to go find targets. And then I down this guy, and there's probably one more guy that I do down. See, he no lands me, so I go in for the kill. He gets it off, and I just throw another hammer. So, I don't have a super, but I got sticky nade and a melee ready, so all I have to do is just try to prepare some kills for myself. And I see that there's one more guy over here, but it's Faze again, and he's using the environment to his advantage. So at this point, I'm really fucking worried because we're almost tied. So thankfully there's a guy that's weak here, and I just go ahead and down him right away. And I see that he spawns directly there, and I'm like, oh yeah, I got some momentum on him. So I look around, I see he gets engaged, and gets killed, look over, try to kill this guy. Doesn't shotgun me, thank god, and then I end up winning the game. If I didn't kill that guy that was weak, and if I didn't do damage to the one guy uh, that spawned up, it would have been his match, but I honestly just, um, I pulled it off. I, was, I keep saying to myself, you know, I gotta keep going. I gotta, like, keep the scoreboard running. But one thing you also have to keep in your mindset, too, is that you can't be frustrated, because if you do lose, losing doesn't, losing, I know it sucks, but it's a learning curve. And you should see some of the things that they do that your opponent does that you don't even notice but some stuff that you don't will be like well what the fuck like how the fuck do you do that but if you look at kinda of what he's doing and his strategy and all of his stats not all of his stats but all the stuff in his subclass that he's using and shit like that then you'll notice but anyway I'm out I hope you enjoyed the video I know I'm like speaking a little fast but that's just the way I'm kinda of going about this anyway chill out take care